look at it sis like look oh what'd you say <laughs> this wig is so cute oh my gosh so welcome back to my channel I know some of you are looking like sis what happened so today we're actually doing a slightly different video as you saw in the title I'm going to be doing a wigs video so if you caught my vlog from February I briefly showed you all some wigs that I received from a brand called Rad Swan Rad Swan is a black woman owned brand and they recently launched in the United States they reached out and asked if they could send me some of their wigs and I received three of them and I'm gonna go ahead and apply them today one thing that I really love about Rad Swan is that their wigs are actually designed for the novice in mind. So for those of us women out there who maybe aren't too great at applying wigs, these wigs are designed for us sis. So don't worry, I am not that great at applying wigs. <laughs> wigs are not my specialty. So if you're someone who maybe struggles with putting on wigs, don't worry girl, these wigs are going to be easy to apply. We're gonna apply them together. We're gonna see how I do. Before we hop in the video, if you're new here, my name is Trishina. I run this channel, The Stylish Engineer, and my channel is where beauty, brains, and fashion collide. All right, girl, let's go ahead and start this video so I can get some hair on this head. All right, girl, so I just wanna start off by showing you the packaging that the wig came in. This is the way the package looks. They did send me some extra pieces along with the wig in one of these packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what those are. So first off, they sent your girl a stocking cap. They also sent this thing called a wig grip. I don't know if I'm going to be using this today or not. Um, I don't think I will, but I do think this is meant to help secure the wig on your hair, especially for those who maybe don't want to use glue, maybe don't want to use some kind of adhesive product. They have this in the package as well. Now some of these things, I'm not sure if it's gonna be in your package if you do order it, or if this is something that you have to add on, but I'm just letting you know what they sent me in one of the wig packages. They also were kind enough to send this really, really cute sleeping eye mask. It's very, very cute. They sent a very nice silk or satin soft head scarf or head wrap. Lastly, they sent a little kind of, um, I guess user manner you can say, and it kind of tells you more about the brand. It tells you about the different wigs that they carry, and it just gives you tips on how to apply your wig. Okay, girl, so the first wig I'm gonna start off with is the Kinky Coily Afro. This is the packaging that it comes in. Keeps your wig nice and secure. It's not gonna get snagged up because a lot of times the textured wigs, it's easy to like snag the curls on things. So I like that they keep it safe in a plastic packaging. So like most wigs, it comes with the protective net over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off. I also really, really love the lace. I've already opened up, you know, these wigs and looked at them, but I'm just, you know, trying to give y'all the feel of opening it for the first time. I really, really love the lace that comes on these wigs. It's actually a very, very soft, very, very soft lace. And I think it's gonna really blend well. I don't know if you all can see that, but to me that blends pretty, pretty well with my skin. Also, it does come with an elastic band. You know, if you don't wanna use glue, you don't have to. It comes with this band. You can tighten it, help it stay secure on your head. Also, girl, one thing to note <laughs> is that the um, elastic band is not removable. So it is, you know, secured onto the wig. So you cannot remove it. putting it on I am in love girl like I really really love this wig I love the length of it it's not too long but just fresh out the packaging personally I like the shape it's really really cute and flattering I love this cute little fro so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lace and kind of color um, the part using my Sally Hansen airbrush legs leg makeup <laughs> so I learned this trick from Miss Naturally Mary she says she uses this to help darken the um you know the lace on the wig so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll come back once that's all done okay real 
real quick sis you can kind of see there like how I've darkened it with that makeup leg spray so I really really like that hack it's really easy the only thing is is afterward you're just gonna have to clean up you know the hair a little bit but outside of that I love it okay girl so I went on and applied the makeup to the part now girl I think I might have overdid it one thing I would say because it got kind of on the hair a little bit I would just say if you're going to use this Sally Hansen it does like kind of over spray so maybe just spray it on a makeup brush and just paint it in the part but we still gonna make it work so I actually am going to apply some makeup this Avon Longwear Foundation this is a lot darker than my skin tone so I figured might as well use it for my head so I'm gonna apply this in the top portion, like the top area. <laughs> it's so funny because it kind of makes me look like I'm bald headed. <laughs> really missed I really messed up um, with this Sally Hansen stuff like y'all see I over sprayed this part I feel so bad okay girl see what a little bit of mascara will do for you yes yeah, so I just put mascara on the hair to darken it and it worked so well so now I'm gonna go ahead and move into styling the wig I'm not gonna do too much to it but I do want to kind of push the back down a little bit so I'm gonna just put you know some bobby pins I don't know if y'all can see it but I'm gonna just put some bobby pins in the back and I love the curls because it will help hide that the fact that there's bobby pins in it because it's so curly and big Okay, girl, I am feeling this wig. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even want to take it off and do the next ones. I should have saved this one for last. But now I'm going to cut some of these hanging strays that y'all might can see. Kind of help even it out a little bit. It looks pretty good like this and and also I didn't mention to you all but the wig does kind of have somewhat of um like little edges on it so if you're the type of woman that likes to like slick the edges and have like the little baby hair swoops you can do that I'm gonna just do it in this region up here I usually don't like to do too much of the swoopy doops so I'm gonna just do a few right here and I'm gonna be using it's got to be um, spiking, styling spiking glue. I'm pretty sure if you wear wigs, you know about this. Now I can use this because I just realized these are a little bit too long for my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and shave them down a little bit. So like I said, I'm not going to do too much. I don't like too much swoopish going on with the, you know, the edges. But I just wanted to at least do the front right here. And most of it's going to be covered. So 
go ahead and take that clip off. So yeah, see, you can see, you can't even really see most of that um, little swoop going. Okay, sis, so I think I'm done with this wig. I think it turned out really, really cute. Like I said, the shape is everything. Rad Swan did that with the shape of this really cute kind of kinky afro. I love kind of like the heart shape that it's giving where it kind of tapers in close to the neck. It's very, very flattering. I love the fact that it even shows the neck. It's not too, too long. Also, this is great, girl, for summertime, for springtime, when the temperature starts heating up. We don't want hair all on our backs and on our necks, but for those who like that natural look, like the natural kind of kinky afro look, you can still rock it. It's still cute, but you don't have it like all on your neck making you hot. So I think this is going to be a great style for the upcoming hot, um, seasons and I'm here for it the only thing I wish is that the um, the adjustable strap in the back was something that you can remove or put on like it had hooks or something but outside of that I have nothing and I mean nothing negative to say about this wig I think she gonna be she gonna be being rocked quite often so let me just turn around so you all can see how it looks in the back Let's go ahead and move on to the second wig. Okay, girl, we are on to wig number two. This is the wig I'm going to be showing you all next. She is called the Spiral Curls wig, and I got all the wigs in the color 1B just for reference in case anyone is wondering. I also forgot to mention that the wigs do have um, combs. I really, really like that about the wig. So if you want to wear the combs, you can for security as well, and maybe just not wear a stocking cap, but I just didn't apply these combs, but I did apply the comb that is in the back. So let me go ahead and put this one on. I am not going to be using Sally Hansen. Um, I just don't want the mess. So we're going to see how well it blends with the stocking cap. And yeah, let's go ahead and put this one on. I don't know if I just have a big head or what, but I am having the hardest time bringing these wigs forward on my forehead. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get it together. Okay, there we go. So this one does not come with a pre-made part. You have to either create your own part or wear it, you know, going back like this. I think I'm gonna try to create some kind of part in this wig because I think it would just look better with a part. So, I might do just a part straight up the middle. Let me play around with it and see what I'm gonna do, y'all. These wigs are synthetic and the hair is not snagging. It's not like, this is bomb. This is some really bomb um, synthetic fibers. Like I really, really like these wigs so, so much. Okay, girl, so I kind of created somewhat of a part here. I'm not gonna make it too perfect. I was using my nails, girl, <laughs> for a rat tip comb because I'm getting tired of getting about this chair. <laughs> So yeah, that's a really, really nice looking part in my opinion. It blends pretty well. I don't need the Sally Hansen and she is giving rich. She is giving bourgeois, bougie, like yes, I love this wig. So um, I don't think I'm going to do the swoopy dupes with this one. I don't know if it needs it. Now I did tighten the um, strap that it had in the back. I tightened it so it's a lot more, this wig is a lot more sturdy on my head. I'm not really sure what I should do with her. I think she's giving what she needs to give all on her own. What y'all think? I know y'all like, sis, you already did it. It doesn't matter what we see. <laughs> but what y'all think? Let me know. I think I'm gonna leave her like this. Now this is kind of giving me somewhat of a, a flexi rod, like set. What y'all think? Like it's kind of giving me like I put flexi rods in my hair overnight and took them out. 
I don't know what it is, but it just seems like something needs to change about this wig. I think I need to cut. I think I need to cut. Like, this, it's just too much hair in the face area. I think I need to cut it a little bit. So let me, let me see. Let me hope I don't mess it up. Key pointers about cutting. And again, I'm no professional, but key pointers about cutting. Cut longer and then work your way up. Because you don't want to cut it too short and then you can't do nothing about it, girl. So cut it longer and then if it's not short enough, you can slowly work your way up. Okay, girl, I don't know if you can see it. I can see it in my mirror right here. Can you tell the difference between the two, like this layered side versus this side where it's just like all long and just bunched in one area? I really, really like this look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off shaping this side and then I'll be back, girl. Okay, girl, so I am playing around with helping shape the wig a little more. I discovered that if I pin, you know, right around my ear, kind of pin the hair back, and just let the shorter bang pieces that I cut kind of fall over, it looks a lot better. Now y'all can see here, like I didn't glue nothing down, but this wig is slain regardless. Like you don't even have to glue it down. That's what I really love about these wigs. So yeah, that did it, that did it for me. So yeah, this is the outcome of wig number two. Like I said, it is the Spiral Curls wig in the color 1B, and I love it. So I'll go ahead and do a quick turn so y'all can see how she looks. Okay, sis, we are done with wig number two. I don't even want to take her off either. Like I said, Rad Swan did that with these wigs. They are so cute. So let's go ahead and go to wig number three. Okay, girl, we are making our way through it. We are on to wig number three. This wig looks like this. She is so cute, so fluffy, so curly and coily. The name of this wig is the Coily Curly. Again, I got her in the color 1B. Let me go ahead and put her on and we'll play around and style her just like we did the previous one. Okay, I can already tell she about to be fly, okay? And I mean super fly <laughs> once I get it on my head. I look like Tina Turner. <laughs> I love this wig though, it is so cute. It does have a lot of hair, um, so I think I am probably gonna be trimming it a little bit, but this is actually one of them wigs that I don't think really needs a part. Initially, I thought it would, but I lo looking at how it's falling on your girl, I don't really think it's gonna need a part. I really like how, I just put it on and it fell like this, how it has more hair on one side. I might, let me just see if I can put like a little tiny part kind of like right here just to make it look a little more realistic. And if I can't, I'm gonna just play with it like it is, so. Girl, I cannot get over the fact that I can literally part this synthetic hair and it doesn't get like super duper frizzy and like how synthetic wigs get. I really, really like the fibers that they use for this wig. So I was able to put a little part here. I'm gonna try to clean it up and then I'll be right back. Okay, girl, I'm back. I cleaned it up. Y'all see this? See that part? That is clean, okay? Can't nobody tell me nothing. That is a clean part. It looks pretty good to me. I like how it looks. So, I am definitely going to keep it with more of the hair to this side. Let me let me zoom y'all out a little bit just so y'all can see the whole thing, you know, get the whole whatever it's called. Like, y'all gotta get the, the big picture of how this wig looks. Look at it, sis. Like, look. What'd you say? <laughs> this wig is so cute oh my gosh so I think I'm gonna be wearing this wig actually 
probably in the next videos because I'm about to be filming some more videos but yes girl okay so as far as styling it goes I'm not gonna do too much this does come with little hairs I didn't show you all but it does come with little edge hairs here I am going to swoop this hair I am gonna kind of swoop a, a few little um, edges in this hair because I think the fact that you know it's kind of open right here it needs a little something oh girl girl she is cute oh my gosh y'all I haven't had like a natural hair curly wig in a while so I'm like <sighs> baby girl is reminiscing like this is cute okay let me go ahead and swoop some bangs in it and yeah we'll go ahead and wrap up the video i think maybe i pull a little too much hair out for this um edge but we gonna make it work we gonna make it work Yes, we are going to make it work. It will work. So I think I'm gonna use a few bobby pins just to hold some of this hair back because it's just a lot of hair. And I love a lot of hair. I just don't want it on this side, like all in my face. Okay, ladies, we are done. This is how this wig turned out and I might have to say this is my favorite like I know earlier I was talking about having hair on my neck but sis she is cute like this wig is really really cute and obviously you can style her differently than I did you don't have to do the side part you don't have to do the swoop you don't have to push the hair back but me personally the way the coils like the coiliness of this hair just seemed to fit a style like this let me know in the comment section sis which one was your favorite which wig is your favorite which wig are you going to get like let me know girl I have a nice surprise for you ladies as well. So Rad Swan actually sent me an extra wig. It is a duplicate of the first wig that I did. So I'm gonna insert a photo so you all can remember what the first wig was that I did. So I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway. Yes, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for you ladies to win the wig. So keep in mind, it is that really short, kind of like a four, maybe four B, four C textured hair and it is a synthetic wig, all right? So the rules to the giveaway are very simple, sis. All you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, obviously. Turn on post notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. You also need to give this video a like. In addition, you need to be following me on Instagram. I apologize for those who do not have Instagram. However, this is a giveaway where you will need to be following me on Instagram. Lastly, in the comment section, just let me know out of the three wigs, which one you liked best on me and also leave your Instagram handle in the comments so I can confirm that you are following me on Instagram. This giveaway is not sponsored or endorsed at all by Rad Swan. They just sent me an extra wig so I'm going to go ahead and gift it to you all because I don't need two of the same wig. Also, you do have to have an address within the 48 contiguous United States. It is only open to those living within the 48 states. So unfortunately, Hawaii and Alaska are not included and out of the country is also not included. So those are the simple rules. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all are enjoying your day. Stay safe, stay blessed, and as usual, stay stylish. Love you guys.